what's up beautiful people in this video we will be planting our companion plants that will take the you know brunt of things in our front yard garden okay and those are things that attract the pollinators those are the marigolds and some other surprises okay that i don't know if you can see but i have some seedlings but nonetheless let's get to it y'all what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the All right, to great the people. What's up, what's up, what's up? I don't know if you know, but my name is Ricky Jones Jr. And I love doing garden videos, both in the front yard and I'm gonna set up a backyard garden. I have a lot of raised beds and I do have a container, container section in my front yard garden. However, in this video, we will be talking about setting up and planting your companion plants so that your raised beds can be nice and ready for fall gardening, okay? And those are things such as your zinnias, your marigolds, your pollinator plants, uh, your herbs and things like that but uh, <laughs> I'm excited because you all know me I, I if you don't know I like to buy things okay I go to a lot of different garden shops and things like that and I end up picking up a lot of seedlings so we'll be planting those as well as setting up the companion plants not only in the raised bed but in a couple of containers too so stick in I'll make sure I explain everything so let's have some fun we'll start in this keyhole raised bed first and so for those who don't know what I am growing in this raised bed is a lot of my peppers, tomatoes, flowering plants, okay? And so with those, of course, you wanna have the pollinators to come. And so for that, I'm gonna plant some zinnias here, which you can see a nice box of those. I'm gonna just go ahead and sprinkle the product like so, and then we're gonna just cover it. And so as you can see, I will be planting a lot of the pollinator plants and the marigolds and things like that on the corner of these raised beds with the idea that it's, it's, it's building a nice border, okay? Um, it's bringing what I need in and keeping what I want away. And so not only will the pollinator plants bring in the, you know, the bees, the butterflies and things like that, which are helpful for growing the flowering plants, but then they'll also bring helpful insects that will deter the pest, okay? And so it's a nice, 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 nice relationship uh, that you have going and forming when you have it set up like this. So this is a pollinator mix for a sunny area. And so there's various seeds, flowering seeds in here that produce pollinator plants and flowers of course with the beautiful colors with the beautiful smells that attract all of the necessary predators okay that's what we're gonna call them predators all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and plant some marigolds which I really wasn't gonna do it in my raised bed but then I was reminded that marigolds help to keep away nematodes from your plants okay so I'm gonna just plant some along the borders as you all been made known and aware of just do it like so and with this thick mulch I'm interested to see how it grows through it uh, but nonetheless I did it anyway so let's go to the other side over here I'm gonna focus on marigolds with the idea that this is for my rooted vegetables and so like the beets and things like that really don't need the pollinators so I have them on the other side. So on this side, I'll benefit from having marigolds on and in the raised bed. So like I said before, I have these here pots that I'm gonna use as well for my flowering plants. I'm gonna do some zinnias and some pollinator plants. And this one's gonna be all zinnias. I'm gonna let them grow and do what they wanna do as they wanna do. I mean, zinnias are just beautiful beautiful flowers at the end of the day and so it'll be a nice bouquet that'll grow in there so we'll let that do what that does and then in here I'm gonna do the pollinator patch and so we'll just go ahead and mix that in cover that and so it's supposed to rain today so I'm gonna let the rain do what it does as far as watering these bad boys. And then, like I said, I have some uh, seedlings. I have some seedlings that we're gonna go ahead and plant as well. And I'm gonna tell you about them. 
All right, so for those who don't know, uh, this is a tomato plant. This is a black crin, which I have a little to no knowledge about because I really don't do um, tomatoes. But at the end of the day, when I see beautiful plants like so, I get curious. And the curiosity that I have has then led me to purchase this here tomato plant. And so what you're gonna do is make sure you dig a hole that's bigger than of the seedling bottom itself and then you just want to pack it down in there bringing back the native soil or the soil that was a part of the raised bed itself which is nice and supported like so and then what you want to do as well is go ahead and put your cage because this is a bush tomato plant and so you want to go ahead and put your cage down now before the uh, tomato plant establishes so that you don't disrupt the roots as it grows and does what it does you already you already have a nice support system in place for the tomato plant and so you don't have to worry about any damage or anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and put that marker down and so that's all contained within the square foot which is another benefit of the square foot garden over here we have some chives which is always great and good to grow along with your pepper plants okay so that's your eggplant your tomatoes your bell peppers and all of those this is gonna help to the distract or deter your predators okay and your pest and so we're gonna just go ahead and put that down and as we plant everything of course we want it to be as center in the square as possible which of course is another benefit of the square foot garden. You can have it nice, arranged, and in there properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the marker there as well. And so we have some chives growing, okay? Chives are great. And then last but not least on this, in this raised bed, we have a pepper plant that I'll be growing. So I have my brace right here as well. And so I'm gonna just dig down because the brace doesn't go all the way to the bottom. I'm not really worried about it. All right. So from there, you just wanna go ahead and just pack it back around the pepper plant itself, which is a sweet pepper, red sweet pepper. Really don't do hot pepper, so you may see some occasionally, but that's really not my style. So then we're gonna go to this raised bed. And of course, this one's gonna be primarily for my kale and my collard greens. And so I'm gonna have on the tall section, the northern section of my collards, because they grow nice and tall. And so the companion plants that are best for collards and kale is your rosemary and dill. And so that is what I have here, some rosemary that I'm going to plant in this raised bed. All right, so that's nice and in there, which I really don't need this tag. I'm pretty proficient in uh, noticing rosemary when I see it. But then what I'm excited about growing and go ahead and planting, which I saw this seedling and I couldn't pass it up. And that is some dino kale, which I love looking at. And I learned this year that dino kale is very good in the heat as well. Um, because I was growing it with the idea that as the summertime came, it was going to go seed. And so I was just growing it so that it can bolt and I can have seeds that I can then further grow from. However, it did not do that. And so I said, okay, this is a kale in which I can grow in all seasons and all time, especially here in zone 9B, where it's hot predominantly of the time or primarily I should say and so this is going to be a great kale to have and so having rosemary dill paired with your kale and collards is a winning combination okay so another companion plant combination that you do want to establish in your raised beds as well last but not least in this raised bed uh, scenario is going to be the same thing I'm going to be planting some rosemary down which I look to grow kale in this section, collards in this section. And so putting the rosemary here in between both sections is gonna do me great. It's gonna establish a nice 
companion plant that's going to deter those beetles and all those different pesky pests which i'll put them in the description below the benefits of planting your rosemary and your dill around your brassica family and so even in seeing what it does deter you'll see for yourself why i'm so adamant about growing it along with it okay so i have rosemary here i have rosemary in the raised bed over here as well as the keyhole raised bed i thought it'd be better just to show you rather than tell you since this is a video but nonetheless like i said over here we have rosemary growing along with the brassica family that i have going over here we have the rosemary growing which the brassica family will take precedence in this here raised bed especially for the fall and then last but not least we have a nice blooming and growing uh, rosemary plant which will be the epicenter for another raised bed full of the brassica family okay so we have everything that we need as far as companion plants we have the five gallon buckets which i'll always do more of we have a lot of marigolds growing in the buckets over there we have some sage growing some dill growing in this one i'll probably plant another dill plant directly into the raised bed itself and then we have mint and some more sage growing over there and so you may do a lot of research and see a lot of mixed reviews and things like that as it pertains to companion planting but i do know in doing it for myself that it does work and it does help to keep what you want growing to grow and keep those pesky pests away organically okay because there are pesticides and things that you can spray on your plants that will do the same thing but why not have something growing healthy along with your plants that one you could eat and benefit from but then two it's organic and safe and it just promotes a symbiotic relationship okay so that is what it's all about another reason why i love gardening okay because it just shows another way for community to take place which i love community which i love that if you would go ahead and subscribe now that was a nice detour into that or segue into that that's not what i meant it to be but if you would go ahead and subscribe so we can formulate this here community this garden community and you can further do that by joining the garden family okay so click on that join button that is next to the subscribe button you can then join the dkuj garden squad okay in which we do various things together and i want for you to be a part of that okay so go ahead and click those two things and uh let's keep growing y'all let me know what you're growing let me know which companion plants that you are a diehard fan for as you can see i am for rosemary and for dill but i know there are other companion plants other herbs that are great companion plants that we can all learn and grow from so let me know let us know in the comment section below again it's not just going to help me but it'll help others that are viewing the video as well okay it's a family it's a community just like the garden we can work together and synergize together and have a nice symbiotic relationship just as we have established in our raised beds okay so with that being said happy gardening happy growing safe companion plants and uh hey if you buy some plants while out shopping it's okay put them in the ground just like i do it is what it is okay <laughs> but i will let me say this for the kale and even for all of these i'm going to do a mixture of the fish fertilizer in which i'm gonna go ahead and fertilize and water them with so that it'll just boost up the nitrogen okay so with that being said i love y'all i appreciate you all see you in the next video i have no idea what it's gonna be next but nonetheless click that bell notification so that you are aware when it drops because you know it's gonna be fun exciting and informative and entertaining okay all at the same time big old ball of fire <laughs> so till next time peace love you happy gardening happy gardening garden with me <laughs>